This video is sponsored by Field Pulse. Use the link that's in the description below and try risk free for seven days. What's up, guys? Just pulled up at a no heat call. We're gonna go in and see what's going on with it and uh, gonna try to film it for you. So, we're having an issue with the furnace not coming on. So, let's see what's, uh, what's going on with it. We should have a call for cooling or for heating right now. Yep, there it goes. Inducer. Igniter. Nothing. So, if you're aware of the order of operation with a furnace induce you get the call inducer comes on first pressure switch gets pulled in then your igniter so once you see that igniter glow and you know inducer and pressure switch is good the igniter comes on and then you hear the click from the board but nothing it doesn't ignite so the next thing to do is to check at your gas valve and see if this board is sending the 24 volts to the uh, valve for it to open. All right, so <clears throat> the easiest way to do it is just to remove your two wires. So the one, this one's gonna be our common, and this one will be our 24 volts. It doesn't really matter which one you put in which, but you want, um, actually, we'll keep our common one there. My lead stuck in the 24 volt side, and then we got the other side check and comment we should be reading 24 volts when this board should be calling for the gas valve to open uh, after the igniter has been lit and if we're getting voltage when it's supposed to be and it's and nothing is working we can say without a doubt the valve is bad Igniter. We should be getting the signal in just a second. We'll be able to hear the board, the relay and the board click. There, there it is. So if we are getting the signal for the valve to come on, but nothing is happening, replace the gas valve. Okay, so I do have a, um, a new valve for this. So we're going to first you can go ahead and remove your two uh, low volt wires and we're gonna turn our gas off. And then you're gonna wanna go to wherever your union is, disconnect the union, remove this pipe, and then we'll have to unscrew the valve from the, uh, the other side. So now it's just going to be unscrewing the gas valve. So with some furnaces, you can just screw off your valve without having to move anything else, but you don't have enough clearance on this one. You're just going to take your four screws out and pull this whole piece out. So now we'll get a wrench on this side and the and uh, this side, and then we'll be able to finish twisting it off, and then we'll put new pop dope on, put our new valve on.
make sure when it's time to put your new valve on that you have your arrow pointing in the right direction. Uh, your gas coming in and it needs to be going that way. So this is how you want it to go on just like that. All right, so we got our gas valve tightened on, put new pop dope on. The arrow is going the right way. And when you put this back on, you just have to line up your orifices before you can really get it to snap in place and then put your screws back in it. All right, so all we gotta do is just uh, attach the gas line we took off a minute ago, and then we're gonna crank this thing up and we'll check the, the water column and adjust if we need to. All right, so now just the, uh, we'll just get this union back in place and get it tightened up. We'll also got to do our, uh, put our wires on, go ahead and pop these in before I uh, finish tightening up that union. Make sure we're on own. So I'm going to finish tightening this up. All right, so now we're just going to take our adjustment uh, cap off. These type of gas valves most you know you see them most on uh, train but it's usually really any of the uh, Emerson ones or uh, some of the white Rogers because that's what this one is this is actually a t10 I believe t10 in the star bit I'm not hundred percent sure what the uh, other size would be in, in a normal Allen wrench but your outlet is right here so you're going to just break it free and then we're going to use this adapter to our manometer to be able to check and adjust um, the outlet pressure to the furnace. So it just fits over it. We're gonna be using the, the big bad CAT 85 on this uh, to test this water column. So you actually have a dual port manometer built into this thing. So we're just going to go into P1. Just make sure it's on there good. Let's kick this thing on. And I'll be back after the, uh, the countdown finishes. All right, so we're gonna go, once we get this thing opened, go to fuel pressures, make sure we're zeroed, which we are. We're in P1 right now. So we have our adjustment um, plate open. We'll get all of this ready to go. Let's go ahead and kick this sucker on. It helps to turn the gas on. <laughs> there it is. All right, so we should be set to 3.5 in, uh, inches of water column. We're at 371 now, it's not too bad, but we'll uh, go ahead and get our screwdriver in place. Start to crack it down slowly. Oh, and that's us. And then after you're done testing with the uh, manometer, before you go any further, you got to close this um, back down or it is just going to spew gas out of it and it could be really dangerous. So this is an important step you can't forget. So make sure it's tight and good. And that's that's pretty much it. All right, well, I hope y'all enjoyed this one. I was thinking back and like, I don't think I've ever done a, a gas valve video. They're, um, once you know exactly what to do, they're extremely simple to diagnose and to either say, yes, that's wrong or no, it's not, and not have any, um, not have any guessing that, that comes along with it. So um, super easy to do and replacing them is, is really simple too. But either way, and I wanna say another quick thank you to the sponsor of this video, Field Pulse. If you or your business is looking for a, a software, a company to go with that is going to, 
take care of all of your your daily needs as a service um, department or install whatever it is check them out give them a call they have customer support that will be with you in minutes you won't be disappointed that you did all right guys well that wraps up this one i hope y'all enjoyed it um if you're new to the channel like subscribe i really appreciate all of you for watching and we'll see you at the next one peace